After days of a runway hype, London Fashion Week is coming to an end. Fashionistas say the event was a huge success with designers from all around the globe showing off the best of their collections. Many have praised high-end label Burberry for putting Britain's fashion industry right back on the map. The truth is that all the ideas come out of here. <clears throat> Before they used to be picked up by every other designer from around the world, diluted and communicated to the world and other people were making all the money and maybe now it's becoming a lot more important. I think that Burberry in a way bringing their shows back to England has been very important because they've managed to you know bring the attention back here that England isn't only a hub of ideas but it's also a business and there's an industry working and people are making it happen. Well, this year we saw technology play a huge role at Fashion Week. To tell us more is Gemma Cartwright, the first fashion blogger to be invited to the event. Very good to see you, Gemma. I mean, do you agree with Mario Testino? It was a huge success. What did you blog? I, obviously, I agree with Mario. I don't think anyone in fashion would dare not. <laughs> um, but this year, more than ever, you know, technology was a huge thing. I think this was the first year that we've seen more bloggers invited than journalists, which is such a huge turnaround from... A few years ago when I started with Catwalk Queen and there were maybe a handful of us at the shows. Did it take a while for you to become accepted? Did uh, they come kind of say, oh, you're not from one of these glossy magazines or the national press, you stay out? Yeah, I mean, it always varies. I mean, even now there are still certain designers who are, are not so welcoming, but there are also others who've really latched onto technology and, and really kind of welcomed us to, to the shows. I mean, Burberry's a really great example. We had the live stream of their show on our site so that our, our readers as well as our team could watch it. And uh, they were running the Burberry tweet campaign so that you could tweet from the catwalk. So they're catching up with you, and I suppose a lot of them are, are selling through the web, of course. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, they had a thing where you could buy the design straight after the show, which is, I think that, that only happens with Burberry. Nobody else is doing that yet, but I can see this happening even more. Well, talk to me about the highlights. I mean, Burberry, you, you mentioned it, Mario Testino mentioned it. Uh, wh why was that so significant in, it's significant in putting, putting London right back up there? Well, I think what we often find, London Fashion Week is all about new talent and about young designers, the more creative side of the industry. And what often happens is designers start to get a higher profile and then they move away. They go to New York or to Paris or Milan to show. So when we have really established designers, uh, Burberry is a really good example. We've got Matthew Williamson, Jonathan Saunders. These are all designers who've gone away but come back to, the, to London to show at London Fashion Week, which is obviously great for us. Is there a, a, a Middleton effect, uh, Kate Middleton, as was the Duchess of Cambridge uh, and her sister? I think there is. I was at Tempoli on Monday night. Pippa was there um, in the front row watching the show. And, you know, people, people love that kind of London style now because of Kate and Pippa, who wear perhaps a more classic London thing. So some of those designers now are, are getting really high profile coverage because of Kate and Pippa. Yeah, I mean, how much is, you know, people say, well, it's just about frocks. Um, People say that about me, uh, myself, but I mean, it's a huge industry. It's worth an awful lot. We're talking about the, the difficult financial times the country is in, and this, this really matters to the UK economy, doesn't it? Absolutely. I think it's very easy to look at fashion and see it as something frivolous, and as London Fashion Week is basically just a week of parties, but it's so much more than that. It's about the retail industry and the knock-on effect onto the high street and everywhere else. It's really important that we show that we're still a fashion stronghold and that we're where the really creative ideas start because it does drive money into the economy. It's interesting what you said there about uh, the speed at which uh, the designers and the fashion houses themselves are now getting them them out there because of course this is this whole issue isn't there of of copying of, of copycat designs appearing fairly soon in some of the the high street chains absolutely and and obviously with things things like blogging and with tweeting and with the ability for me to go to a show take a picture put it on the catwalk queen twitter account within a few seconds that's all aiding the speed at which that happens. But I think the fashion industry in general is actually quite supportive of, of this trickle-down effect into the high street. And everybody knows that what's good for the fashion industry is good for everyone who works within it. OK, Gemma, well, we'll leave you to uh, rush off and get the last <laughs> few canapes and uh, champagne before the whole thing closes. Gemma Cart right there. Uh, on the success of London Fashion Week, and uh, our thanks to you, Gemma. Now, uh, coming up in the next hour, as you may just have heard, it's...